So the fun on Twitter just keeps happening. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, but when Elon initially let a bunch of people go at Twitter, there were some people that were walking around in front of the building with empty boxes. Well, no, they weren't empty, but they just kind of put some books and stuff in there. What they were doing was trolling. They were walking around. They basically saw what was going to happen, grabbed some boxes, ran down there, and got interviewed by a bunch of people. Well, the problem was <laughs> that they were trolls. So now Elon Musk is pretty much trolling everybody that fell for this, saying, Welcome back, Ligma and Johnson. Important to admit when I'm wrong and firing them was truly one of my biggest mistakes. Now, what's funny about this is he's trolling everybody that fell for their little little ruse. And this is them. This is them. I think this is absolutely hilarious. Uh, Elon is having a good time. And this is so much fun. So much fun. And the reason that it's fun is because we haven't been able to have this kind of fun in a long time. All the journals are mad. He's literally just replying to people and they flip out. Libs of TikTok. Great account, by the way. Great account. A media is having a meltdown because Elon replied to one of my tweets. This site offers the best entertainment. Thank you at Elon Musk. So he responded to this tweet right here. And I'm not sure what this is that is is getting people riled up, but no big deal. Just one of the richest man in the world who owns one of the most influential media accounts in the world joking around with a hate account, which is BS because Libs of TikTok is not a hate account. All Libs of TikTok does is take TikToks and post them on Twitter. And it's usually of people acting insane. But here you see Elon Musk replying to the account, and everyone's having a meltdown. They hate Libs of TikTok. You know why they hate Libs of TikTok? Because Libs of TikTok is effective. You can see it right here. Here's another one. Elon Musk becoming a Libs of TikTok reply guy while mocking employees he's fired was how this was always going to end. Here's another one. Calling it a far-right actor, which is BS. Total BS. Taylor the Rins, too, who's back. Uh, one of the worst journalists in the world. Having an absolute meltdown. I'm sure there's a, a, a hit piece coming that will go nowhere because no one takes her seriously because she's an absolute clown. Elon now hanging out in the libs of TikTok replies, making ableist comments and bashing his former staffer. Oh, I see. Yeah, this is somebody that's mad that they got fired. And, uh, I mean, why were these people fired? Because uh, they were mocking him. There were a bunch of people in something called Slack. And they were mocking Elon Musk. So he fired all of them. And what do you expect is going to happen? Do you think that you can just sit there and shit on your boss and keep your job openly? Shit on your boss and keep your job, by the way? Because that's what they were doing. You know, there's a difference between doing it, like, at a bar with a table full of people that you work with privately versus a public place where everybody can see it. Also, FYI, probably not the best idea to shit your boss, shit on your boss to a bunch of people in general. Maybe with you and, like, one or other coworker that are both complaining privately. But the last thing you want to do is... Make your boss look stupid in front of millions of people. Probably not the smartest idea. There's more fun going on, by the way. This account right here, I'm going to guess this is where it originated because it's in this article right here. Jimmy Fallon calls on Elon Musk to help take down hashtag RIP Jimmy Fallon on Twitter. <laughs> so it's still ongoing, by the way, this hashtag. Uh, R.I.P. Jimmy Fallon. And that's, it's a fake hashtag. It's not real. Jimmy Fallon isn't dead. He's very alive and well. 
and I don't want to see anything happen to anybody. It's a joke. And how you can tell it's a joke is literally from the picture. Gone but not forgotten. Rest easy, King. September 19th through 1974. Or De- September 19th, 1974 through November 15th, 2022. Hashtag RIP Jimmy Fallon. It's a picture of James Corden in black and white. And what makes this even more ridiculous is it literally says right here, the James Corden show. And apparently... Uh, here's another one right here. <laughs> RIP Jimmy Fallon. It's Jimmy Kimmel live. So this is going all over the place. People are just joking and having some fun. Jimmy Fallon, I guess, like f- freaked out. Here's a uh, sticks and hammer. LOL. RIP Jimmy Fallon. Your comedic skills died long ago. So Jimmy Fallon freaked out, says, Elon, can you fix this? And he says, fix what? (laughs) Uh, So he's not going to do anything about it because it's a stupid hashtag that's literally a joke, and no one honestly thinks that Jimmy Fallon is dead. Uh, But you've got the media now freaking out, calling it fake news. The social media giant has struggled with a rise in fake news since the Tesla chief's takeover of the company. I love that they keep using him in this, these pictures of him in the armor, too. <laughs> I think that that's hilarious. Uh, so the unfunny, untalented Jimmy Fallon, like the rest of his peers, uh, they haven't been happy with Twitter ever since he came out. I wish they would just leave, to be honest. But uh, they keep staying and hanging around and providing great comedy. So Hollywood reporters freaking out, going insane because of this, because fun is not allowed. You're not allowed to have fun. You need to be angry and sad and upset all the time. So an obvious joke. Nobody's so they even have that. There it is. This is the account that blew up 42,000 likes. This is what got it trending. RIP Jimmy Fallon. I mean, it's an, it's such an obvious joke, such an obvious joke. The fact that it's the James Corden show on his mug should tell you it's a joke. Nobody thinks that Jimmy Fallon has passed away. But now everyone's freaking out. You've got journalists having meltdowns. It's like, where's your sense of humor? It's just a joke. Just a joke. I I find it funny that actually responded and said, fix what? (laughs) Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would. Please like, subscribe, share the video. Uh, Make sure you're still subscribed. Check out my Rumble and my locals, especially my locals. Uh, If you use code FLASH to sign up, you can get a free month as a supporter. Actually jump on live streams and stuff. it's It's a fun time. There'll be a live stream on Rumble tonight as well, so check that out. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.